The president, Bola Ahmed Sinebo, congratulated the president of uh, Liberia for conceding defeat. <laughs> you think it's better for your ear, huh? <laughs> so now, when you look at the president, Bola Ahmed Sinebo, rushing to congratulate George Well, who happens to be the president of Liberia for the past three years. George Well was the uh, star player during his days as you know, a footballer with FC Monaco and many other European teams. He is the only African footballer to have ever won the Ballon d'Or, of which Lena Messi now holds the title eight times and Cristiano Ronaldo five times. You know, for those that are sports fans who have much more details to that. But then, let's come to the politics and the politics that happened in Liberia within the last four years. Many people love um george well because he was a star man during his days you know but then he never performed as a as the president of the country the people who agitated and wanted him were the same people that voted him out but that's not the point right now the point now is the president bola metinibu congratulating him Yesterday also was the, the birthday of His Excellency, the first of democracy in Nigeria. Good luck, Ebele Jonathan. You know, we saw that he also congratulated Muhammadu Buhari in 2015. In reaction to this, Rafael said something that I don't want to repeat it, but I just want you to watch, then I'll come back and give you what I think about Bola Metinibu congratulating the president of Liberia and the dead of democracy in Nigeria, why democracy is alive in Liberia. Well, and I think this is a tale for all African leaders. When George Ware got in, he came in with a lot of expectations. People loved him. People wanted him to do well. People were rooting for him. But once he didn't do well, all of that goodwill changed. He was a hero, he was a football star, but all of that goodwill changed. And guess what? The people that voted and rooted for him a couple of years ago voted him out. But I like the way he did. That's the great spirit of yes. sportsmanship. The capacity to be able to accept defeat for the furtherance of his nation. And I think every leader should hear, learn from that. Also, other things, like I raised with uh, Professor Akiyemi, was the fact that the electoral process. We didn't hear about ballot box and papers being tampered with, all results should be filled in before the election started itself. We didn't hear all of that shenanigan. There was truly independence and transparency with the electoral body in Liberia. And that's one thing our electoral bodies too should be able to learn here. Our electoral body should be able to learn here. As it is today, Liberia has led the way as regards this election. All the African countries too has led the way. Right. When are we going to have elections where people, you know, will not go ahead and cast us passions at? You see, we keep talking about congratulatory speeches and everything. If an election is free and fair, the opponent will be easy to congratulate you. Professor uh, uh, Good Luck Jonathan was quick to congratulate uh, 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 President Buhari in 2015 because the elections were marginally fair. Were marginally fair. All you right. get. But right. in this regard, we have a lot of questions being raised as regards to the electoral process. Look at what happened in Kogi. So let's also learn from it. I'll say that there. If we have a smooth you know, uh, process in our electoral system, you will not have the opposition, you know, going to court. It is not possible to have a free and fair election in Nigeria, and then you have the opposition challenging, you know, the decision of the Independent National Electoral Commission to declare somebody a winner in court. A situation whereby the courts declare most of our governors, senators, House of Rep members, and even, you know, the president has never happened anyway, but almost happened this year is something that has caused a lot of alarming, you know, in the land. Why? Because the judiciary has nothing to do with our electoral system. It is because the, the politicians has bastardized the system to the extent that they are entered into the uh, Independent National Electoral Commission, even the judiciary, and corrupt every sector of the country. So when you look carefully, you will discover that the Independent National Electoral Commission is not actually independent as we all made to believe. And that is the reason why when you look at the 2023 election, both the one in February, March and November, you will discover that there was no any credibility 
you know, among this election conducted by the Independent National Electoral Commission. So how do you congratulate your opposition um, when it has been declared a winner, when the process is not free? Remember, Peter Obi once said, the process at which you get to something is more important than the, even the title itself. You've heard the words of Rafael said and Robin Abati, and most what Nigerians are saying as regards to Tinubu declare, you know, congratulating um, uh, George Well. Tinubu himself is not even supposed to be there as the president of Nigeria. He even ought not to even contest for the election in the first place. If we are to talk about the issues surrounding Nigeria of today, President Bola Metinibu is supposed to resign as the president of Nigeria, honorably. But because in Africa, in Nigeria to be precise, not just in Africa anyway, in the world, to some people, the quest for power and for the fact that they don't want to leave power will make them never to step out of that office. So I will leave this to you to talk about. What do you think about Balabe in the book congratulating George Ware, knowing fully well that he illegitimately get into that office? Or many Nigerians believe that he is not your president, so therefore he has no audacity. You know, he lacks the, the morals to even congratulate another person because he, the way he got into that office doesn't make any sense at all. What do you think about this? Let's have your take at the conversation. Thank you for watching.